happy birthday as well. You always find the latest courtyard. And in solution, hey, in out of the box. Hello, and welcome to Radio Waves by Todd Enjoy reviews, comparisons, band scans of new and classic portable radios, then make sure to subscribe and tap the bell icon to miss any of my most excellent videos. In front of us we have the Retecus TR-103, and we'll perform a daytime medium wave band scan. Um, this little Retecus is really small. <laughs> I love these little radios, I think they're fantastic. So we'll go over some features of the radio, we'll size comparison, and we'll tune the band. Alright, so... Let's go to the front here, Retechus. We have an LCD window. We'll display our frequency. We have three buttons underneath here. It looks like we have a back, a forward, and a pause play. Great for the MP3 player, but it's also your tuning buttons and mode buttons. And boy, can it be a headache. <laughs> and you may see me running into trouble while I'm doing this band scan. Just hang in there, uh, and I'll talk to you as we go. But yeah, this pause play acts as a uh, select mode or tuning mode. And it always defaults back to the preset mode, which is really a pain. <laughs> and if you forget that, you start tuning with your up and down here, uh, you find out real quickly that you're in preset mode again. It throws you back to the beginning. So not fun. <laughs> but we'll show you that. TR-103 FM medium wave short wave three band radio. This thing has short wave. Believe it or not, it works on short wave. Um, pretty impressed with that. It just doesn't tune very nicely on short wave. Um, you'll see that in a review video. Uh, on off switch we have a little antenna about nine inch antenna uh, we have a stereo headphone jack we have over here volume up down mode select this is ma mainly for your band selecting we have a tf card slot for putting your music on and uh, you know, other mp3s we have a dc input to charge the battery there's an internal rechargeable battery on this um, it's a dc input micro usb on the back here Gives your frequency guide, you got an expanded FM, and you have 9 or 10K stepping on medium wave, which is nice. And then there's your short wave coverage, this so 3.2 to 22.2, or sorry, 22.0, but it, it tends to be, I think, broken, broken up into bands. Uh, there you go through watts of power, there's your input. Um, I think the battery is like a 600 milliamp hour battery. Not super big, but for a little radio like this, you can't expect much. Let's go do a size comparison. Now, the smallest shortwave radio I own, besides this one now, is my Hang Rangda HRD 737. This has been a really cool vest pocket radio. By all, by all counts and measures, this is the better radio, but this is the smaller radio. So, you know me and small radios, I dig them. <laughs> I think they're fun. It's a little thicker than the HRD 737, but definitely much smaller, as you can see there. Pretty cool. They both sport the same battery capacity, which is interesting. All right. This has a clock. This one does not have a clock. Um, I really don't have much else. Well, Iron Man can wait a second. We got a sky wave. I mean, yeah. This is what I usually use for my frequency checking. As you can tell, I could probably fit like, I don't know, four retechuses here inside the sky wave. Yeah, volume wise. There you go. And of course, yeah, Iron Man. He's the man with the master plan. He can spin it like no one can. Yeah, Iron Man. There's your deck of cards. Definitely can fit inside of the deck of cards. Awesome. There you go. And this will probably fit in Altoids tin too for those of you guys who like to store your stuff in little tins. <laughs> so there it is. It's off the camera here. Like I said, here is our time. 12.54 p.m. Central Daylight Time near Chicago, Illinois. I'll use this as a frequency checker if I need to, if this thing's uh, acting funny, um, but I don't think we'll have to. So the time is the important part. And let's get started. So yeah, turning this thing on. <laughs> now the light's pretty blinding, so I don't know what it's going to do to my camera, so we'll find that out. Turn this on. Okay, I can read it like, I can read it really good, but my camera's having a hard time reading it. <laughs> so I think I'm just going to tell you what it says. Um, you can see it says 520. I could wait, but that would take forever. So let's go to 540, because that's my next station up. So what you have to do is you have to tap the pause play to access the manual tuning functions. We tap that, and now we can go up manually. Five forty, W A U K, Jackson, Wisconsin, coming in nice. For a distant faint station, it pulls it in pretty good. Turn the 
Let's see if you guys can read that. I can see it, but on the camera, it's pretty blinding. Okay, so we tap this again. Remember to do that. Let's go up to 560. Here legally. Um, raising your taxes, telling you limiting and taxing uh, uh, your beef and other things that they think will contribute to uh, cl uh, climate change, reducing your fossil fuel usage. By I'd rather mention the speaker. It's right there. Uh, it's about a one-inch uh, speaker. Renewables. It's probably one of those speakers from a tablet. <laughs> you know, it's pretty tiny. This is 560 WIND, Chicago, Illinois. Let's go for a distance station. Let's go for 150 miles. Let's see if we can do it. <laughs> I doubt it. So remember, tap this button and let's go to 580. It's now on 580 and we'll see if it can pick it up. And I'm gonna bring a loop out just to see if that does anything. Turn it up. It picks it up. Holy cow. I'm gonna see if I can bring the loop out to see if it does anything for game. We're gonna go a little overpower. Select it to know. <laughs> um, okay, I'm gonna pretty much just hold this here and I'm gonna lift the radio up. So that does have a good impact. Very nice. I'll keep that handy. It's like a ton of rules. So 580 is uh, W-I-L-L, Urbana, Illinois. Okay, let's keep rolling. Push this button. I'm going to keep saying that so I don't forget. <laughs> now 590 is Michigan, W-K-Z-O, Kalamazoo. I think it's 140 miles away. It's always hard to get one. Let's see if we can get it with the loop. Bring it back in here on the side. So I can't get it. Wow, there it is. Wow, I can barely make it out without that, but yeah, there it brought it in. Sweet, so a little loop works. I don't know if you'll it's really efficient, but uh, it's fun, it works. Uh, yeah, WKZO. All right, let's go up one, see if we can get Cedar Rapids, so tap that. Go to 600. Okay, I'm turning it up. I hear him. Okay, just heard him say WMT. Bringing this back in. Not bad. It gets it. It gets it without that, but the loop really helped bring it in. Wow. Also, uh, 600 uh, WMT Cedar Rapids, Iowa, which is about 175 miles away. So it's probably one of my furthest, farthest <laughs> daytime stations I can get. All right, let's keep going. Press this. Let's go to 620. Since Jamie Claus was abducted by Jake Patterson and her parents were killed in front of her, after spending three months trapped in Patterson's home in rural Barron County, Claus able to make her escape. Patterson was taken into custody. Claus's guardian, Chris WTMJ, Trump, providing Milwaukee, an update on her well-being. She continues to work very, very hard on her emotional well-being. She's moving. 640 is WMFN, Piatone, Illinois. Now, the nighttime, it does really well, too. Sometimes you wait a little bit for game, but not normally. This radio's been doing really good. For such a tiny little radio, I'm pretty impressed. Let's pick up this station pretty nice. Focus. <laughs> there it is. So you can see uh, 640, medium wave, battery level indicator, kilohertz. Yeah, that light blinds you. There's no way to turn that off. Now, I'll bet you if I open this up, I could probably disable those lights. It might be something that I do, because those lights are really blinding. I'm just not a fan of how bright that is. They should have some kind of reduction. Somebody else mentioned that, too, about this radio. I think it's similar to the PR-12. Tap that again. Okay. Let's go up to 670. Grandma, your 
pierogies are amazing. Oh, thanks, you, Dickie Jr. Mm -hmm. So you, you said you need help? Grandma update teaching. Well, I'm finally going to get rid of the butter churn, huh? No, it's new model from 1898. Fix the rest of kitchen. Okay. And today's money, Grandma need help selling family heirloom. Whoa, no, I didn't even know we had a family heirloom. It's very... Okay, 670 is WSCR, the score. Let's see, let's go up to 720. Injured, one missing after the Hard Rock Hotel and a construction in New Orleans crumbled over the weekend. ABC's Victor Rokendo. The challenge for search and rescue teams has been the structure's instability. They've brought in all kinds of equipment to help. They've also flown in. 720 was WGN Chicago. Saw 750 now. 750 is WNDZ, poor Jinian. It's doing a fine job for a little radio. Just gotta remember to hit this button. <laughs> if I forget, you'll see me flashing through the presets. Let's go up to 780. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rob Hart. A chilly Monday afternoon in Chicago. 50 degrees under fair skies, topping out at 52. Sunny, but a cool breeze holding the temperatures down. Okay, so that's local 780 WBBM Chicago. The speaker is really tiny. Like I said, I think it's one of those tablet kind of speakers. There's not much resolution as far as highs are concerned, so it sounds kind of like a muddy low tone. It is usable. And it is kind of neat to be a small pocket radio, but I probably wouldn't use this as my everyday radio, but it'd be a fun little radio to pocket away when your space is very, very limited. Um, definitely a cool thing. So let's go ahead and see if I can get 760. I was just curious about that while I was tuning up and I forgot. Uh, this is Detroit, Michigan. I've been picking up my big radios. I doubt I'll pick it up with a little guy, but let's just find out. Let's turn this up. Let's put a loop on it just for fun. Comes the loop. There we go. That's really pushing the limit. So that's Detroit, Michigan. Um, on 760 with the loop. Uh, definitely not hearing it without it. Uh, that was okay, WGR. I don't know if I said that. Gets a little bit of interference here without the loop. Let's just uh, turn that down. So 760 is uh, WGR Detroit, Michigan, 270 miles. We just heard a station 270 miles during the day with this little retechus. All right, so okay, let's keep going. I think we're up to 820 next. Let's go ahead and hit this button. Tune it up to 820. Um, that little buzzing sound, it reminds me of this engine, so it might be receptible, what do you call it? Uh, the RFI in the area, maybe, it might be generating this noise because, oops, I just hit the preset button, so that wasn't good. So what we have to do is make sure we manually tune back up to 820. Uh, so yeah, if you have a strong station, that tone goes away. Wow. Take those giant scissors out and cut the cable and save with Dish TV. Plus, you get a free DVR upgrade to record your favorite shows and free installation. And with Dish Anywhere, you can so watch... 820 is WCPT, Wall Springs, Illinois, about 40 miles away. Save hundreds of dollars. Does your cable company... We're going to go up to 8... Uh, let's see if we can get 870. This is another far one. This is East Lansing, Michigan, WKAR, 140 miles away. Again, a hard one to get. Again, we're going to bring the loop out. Now, you might be asking, Tyler, why do you have a loop for a little radio? Well, you might be surprised. A lot of people buy these little radios and stay home with them. You don't go anywhere with them. So, well, if you're home with it, why not mess around with a loop? Let's go ahead and turn this up. There we go. I'm almost making that out there. Almost copyable. Okay, so let's go to 890. I'm sure we're gonna get some interference from my camera. Press this button. Let's go to 890. Okay, I don't know why they're playing music. It must be if I start intro to a show. So WLS Chicago, Illinois on 890. 
play-by-play of the news you will find in this country. There's nobody better at it. It is what we do here at the EIB Network. It's great to have you here for yet another hour of broadcast excellence hosted by me, Rush. It's what we do. <laughs> oh, crap. I went into preset mode. <laughs> I told you I'd be doing that. Okay, I thought I hit this button. Okay, we wanna, so we got to go really quick. But you can tap this really fast. Now, this is really convenient in the... Uh, so very convenient in the smaller bands, like the medium wave and the FM. But getting into short wave, it's... You, you want to cry when that happens. <laughs> Trust me. Uh, 920 WOKY, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The Big Badger. It's working. Oh, I'm generating some interference, too. Oh, my God, I must uh, be grounded on something. Everything's off in the house. All right. Going up one. There's WBKN, Sandwich, Illinois. Nine forty, barely hearing it. WFAW for Atkinson, Wisconsin. It's there though. I'm just gonna tab it. Nine fifty, WNTA, Chicago. WHA, Madison, Wisconsin. As you can tell, it's on the fringe stations, it's struggling a little bit. Guys that come to work every day, coaches that come to work every day, that are positive, energetic, having fun, and just worrying about today. WMVP, Chicago, 1000. Uh, 10.30 is WNVR, Vernon Hills, Illinois. 10.50 is WLIP, Kenosha, Wisconsin. Cool. It's nice you can read the display with the light off. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go a little quicker here because... It's definitely picking up, because this is a metal plate here. Seems okay here, but when I go here, it's adding some interference. You can hear it. Okay, you guys probably won't be able to hear that, but I hear it. Okay, so let's go ahead and go up. Didn't figure we'd hear anything there. Cool. 1070, WTSO, Madison, Wisconsin. Now, most these stations will probably come alive with a loop. We already know that. So I don't think I have to just show that, but it is coming in. 1080, WNWI, Oklahoma, Illinois. Station WMBI Chicago, Illinois. <laughs> Rock on the new title, Conservative Pillar. What are you shaking your head at in there? <laughs> Definitely gets interference. Is that, you mean Rosenwald? Uh -huh. Yeah, he gets it. We think he's amazing. Okay, WISN, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. All right, let's pass that. Let's keep going. 1160. This is WYLL, Chicago, Illinois, Christian Radio. Chapters 8 and 9, he begins a series of 10 miracles, as if to say, you wonder, do I have the authority to teach the way I teach? Yeah, I can do that. In fact, look at chapter 8, verse 1. Let's just survey some of these 10 miracles. Here's a man that just preached the greatest message ever preached. 
and the people were asking me, who are you to be able to... Next we have the squirrel. Can't, can't hover. <laughs> oh, I hit preset. <laughs> That's fine. So now I'm just going to have to fast forward here. It goes pretty quick when you just tap it. <laughs> Yeah, I forgot to hit the button. See, that's always fun. Okay, well, that meeting with not a big deal. Oh, I did it again. <laughs> I'm trying to get off the music. Okay, so we're just gonna go up resets, and then we're gonna go back up to past 1180. As you know, the squirrel's active and sounds good. So we're gonna go up to 1200 here. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably not. WRTO, Chicago, Illinois. Rock on. Hit the button. <laughs> Hit the button, Tyler Do it right. Uh, WKRS, Waukegan, Illinois. I can barely hear him. Definitely channeling RFI here. There's nothing plugged in. Nothing. <laughs> Maybe from my proximity to the camera, I'm thinking. Okay. Let's keep going. WCLO, Janesville, Wisconsin, hearing them. Cool. WSBC, Chicago, 1240. These other ones we're not going to hear. They're going to be pretty faint. Let's skip over a few. WBIG, 1280, Aurora, Illinois. WRDZ, LaGrange, Illinois, 1300. <laughs> 1310 WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. Just gonna keep going, but yeah, if I put a loop on this, the generated noise would probably disappear. Uh, what the heck? I'll bring the loop out. I'm gonna shadow it. Makes a huge difference. So WIBA, Madison, Wisconsin. Thirteen thirty WNTA, Rockford, Illinois. Picking it up, barely. Thirteen sixty WLBK, DeKalb, Illinois. Look how small this thing is amazing. I like this design better than the PR12. It's like a more squared off plastic speaker grill. Yeah, I'm a fan. Looks pretty classy. So, as you can tell, medium wave's doing pretty decent. For daytime scan, this is great. Okay. It's 1380. Okay, I gotta get past that's music. Um, 1380 WBEL South Beloit on 1380, awesome. Uh, 1390 is WGRB Chicago Illinois. Next station is 1400, which is WRJN Racine Wisconsin, which is probably gonna have music. I'm gonna have to go past it quick, probably. Yep, music. I heard it. 1410 WRMN, Elgin, Illinois. Definitely can make it out. WEEF, Deerfield, Illinois on 1430. I can hear him. Copy, you can copy that, which is nice. It seems pretty strong all the way to the top of the band. Now, I've had radios where they just die on these cheaper radios. 
But this one does it did, did something better with this one. Okay, I'll take that. As far as reception goes. <laughs> now as far as tuning goes, tuning sucks. <laughs> it's a trick. Uh, WROK Rockford, barely making them out, but they're there. Just a little quicker here, 1460. Yeah, I'm not gonna hear much here. Let's so pick up Iron Country. Yeah, we're just picking them up. Um, let's loop them. So there you go, it works with the loop, love it. Awesome, it's receptive to that, which is a good thing. WGEC, Beloit, Wisconsin. You're just picking it up. And it may even get a little bit better outside, sometimes it doesn't. I'll get that RFI, RFI outside. I think it has to do with me being kind of a proximity to a couple industrial parks. And during the day they must be running some heavy machinery or something. And travels to the power, we have underground power. Okay. 1500, just picking up some music on WPJX, Zion, Illinois. Rock on, baby! <laughs> Rock on, Tyler Bird style, baby! You're dancing! This thing going to be headbanging. <laughs> I haven't done that in a while. I'm kind of rusty. <laughs> My steps are a little rusty. Um, okay, yeah, I said what it was. Let's move on. Moving on. Moving on dot org, right? <laughs> Do they still have that site? <laughs> I don't know. Probably a political site, isn't it? Yeah, I don't like talking politics. No politics, please. Thank you. Drive through. <laughs> Thank you. Come again. <laughs> yeah, I'm full of it today. Okay, you know what? Let's keep going here. I'm not finding much. Probably won't because typically this is dead space up here. So we'll just keep going until maybe I hear something. Hint to something there. 1590 WCGO, Evanston, Illinois. Okay, I was talking about, I got this much money, what do I do? I got $5 million, am I, am I in trouble? Uh, yeah. Sell your home. <laughs> Get a trailer home. <laughs> Sixteen twenty. It's picking it up. Hazardous road. A little bit of noise, of course, generated from something nearby. Some radios handle it better than others. So, okay. Gotta wait for the volume to go away. Come on. All right. 1640, WSJP, Sussex, Wisconsin. That's cool. Okay. Let's go 1670. It's picking that up. Uh, the Zone, WOZN, Madison, Wisconsin. Top of the dial here. Not super clear, but it's picking it up. guys or anything <laughs> one last station so top of the dial 1690 WBON Chicago Illinois talking about the big D <laughs> if you have a problem with the big D call them up <laughs> Uh, all right, so we're going to turn this off. Uh, side switch. Yeah. You know what? When I was doing features, I didn't show you all that. Yeah. Did I show up on a switch? I may have. I forgot. Well, antenna. I talked about the little speaker. Yeah, so overall, yeah, this is impressive. Uh, medium wave. I'm loving it. Uh, nighttime. Really cool. Zoomer. I'm getting W, you know, uh, CBS. You know, the big stations. I got KOA Denver on this. Nice and clear. Couldn't believe it. Uh, the little buzzing sound you hear, it's gone in the evening because there's just so much activity on the waves. 
I think it nullifies that that buzzing circuit that's happening. I think that's like a gain, and it's it's really juiced up during the day, and then it's you know trying to find those stations, and then when you bring in the loop to give it the the signal it needs, it tends to back off. So that's kind of neat. So now that you know that, you can definitely make this thing work uh, for those distant stations. Just crack out the loop, and that annoying buzz will go away. Very nice to know that. But yeah, medium wave it rocks. FM, I haven't tested it yet, but in the uh, review, you'll see it, and uh, I'm guessing it's going to be pretty good. I have downstairs here with a little antenna, and I was picking up stations real faint that I normally couldn't with most radios, unless I raised this radio above my sub-basement uh, floor to the window, because I am right now underground. So, yeah, it's uh, interesting how the sensitivity on the FM is excellent, so hopefully that'll uh, be neat in the review. So if you enjoyed the Retechus TR-103 video, please give me a big like. You guys are awesome. Two, if you like Retechus radios, eh, they're kind of a hit or miss sometimes. Maybe they've gotten this one right. Maybe everybody that's bought one of these it gets decent uh, medium wave reception because I have and I love it. Um, hit subscribe, hit the bell icon, get notified of future videos with this radio. Maybe you you know paired up against something else. I don't know. I might try a little comparison. I, I'm not sure if I need to. And then three, uh, comment below what you think about this little baby Retechus 103 radio. Is it sort of a purpose for you? I mean, I just like small radios. It's just kind of a neat little collector part of me. I like them. Is it useful? No. Well, I carry this all the time. Maybe because it's really small. I could just put this in a little pocket. Forget about it. But uh, yeah, it's one of those things where it's it's fun. And, it, you know, it's kind of a novelty, but it works. <laughs> Love it. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.